always fresh every day. You're watching Fastlane Daily. BMW says no to the M Roadster and Coupe, but still giving us something new and fun in the Z4 lineup. BMW's future high-performance Z4. Also news on Schumacher's return to F1. Saab sells a little bit of its assets. And an Amish man of Pennsylvania falls asleep at the wheel. Or should I say reins? Or maybe hoof? Plus the beauty of motorsports in slow motion in the second half of the show. Probably some of the sexiest car porn we've ever shown. What's up everybody, I'm Derek D. And I have a hoarse voice. Because I was at the Giants game screaming last night at that terrible debacle. You're watching Fast Lane Daily, everybody. Let's get it. Living in the fast lane, baby. Tuning in the fast lane, daily. Some news from Saab this morning. Turns out the Beijing Automotive Industry Holding Corp has bought the rights and necessary equipment for the current 9.3 and 9.5 models. The BAIC also can attain certain powertrain technologies to put in their own models. This could mean the Saab name would be gone altogether. But GM is still holding out until December 31st to see if someone wants to buy. Spiker, what do you say, huh? Come on, put an end to this Saab story. You like that, Ian? Pun intended. All right. Earlier this year, FLD was invited to BMW of North America to drive the new 7 Series prior to its release. While we were there, we got full confirmation that there would be no M Coupe or M Roadster edition for the new C4 lineup. Why? Well, they've never been a hit here in the States. But BMW kept to their word, sort of. Being introduced at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit next month is this. The BMW Z4 S Drive 35 IS. Wow, that's a mouthful. But it's worth all that jibba jabba when you hear what's under the hood. No V8, instead, there's an updated version of the twin turbo six with 335 horsepower and 332 pounds feet of torque. It also has a unique exhaust system, sport intake that increases airflow and boosts pressure, a reduced ride height, and an optional seven speed dual clutch transmission. It goes from nothing to 60 in 4.7 seconds and has a limited VMAX of 155 miles per hour. The 2011 Z4 S-Drive 35 IS goes on sale next spring and provides all the awesomeness that the old M Roadster had without all the cockish M badges, as Clarkson would say. Can we say cockish? I guess so, cockish, nice. Oh, and another thing, the twin turbo platform is better for those of you who like to tinker around with your car. With the right software upgrades and exhaust changes, you could be pushing 360 horses, and hell, won't weigh as much as that V8 heifer in the M3. So, tinker away. And news out of Germany this weekend is that Michael Schumacher has come to a verbal agreement with Mercedes GP to return to Formula One for the 2010 season. Schumacher, a seven-time world champion of the sport, will be joining Ross Braun once again after being ousted from the Ferrari F1 camp three years ago. Braun and Schumacher are no strangers to each other. Braun was the technical director of Benetton, as Schumacher won back-to-back -back drivers' championships in 94 and 95, as well as one constructors' championship for the team. Also from 2000 and 2004, Schumacher reached a remarkable five consecutive drivers' titles with an F1 while Braun was the head of Scuderia Ferrari. Mercedes GP, formerly known as Braun GP, will still have one hurdle before the deal is complete, and that's an extensive medical examination for the 40-year-old German. Can you say, turn your head and cough? I mean, come on. It was a motorcycle neck injury from earlier in the year that kept Schumacher from being a replacement for Felipe Massa after his head injury during the Hungarian GP. We still don't have any official statement from Schumacher's people, but insiders suggest the deal should be finalized by the middle of this week. Leo Parente, of course, We'll have more details on the agreement on this Thursday's edition of Shakedown. All right. And we all know that drunk driving is a bad idea, right Ian? You know, if you do it, you're a moron. But what about getting a DUI if your horse is driving? Well, in Paradise, Pennsylvania, an Amish man named Elmer Stoltzfus was found sleeping at the reins in his buggy while his horse was just strolling down the street. He was issued a DUI because he blew a .18 blood alcohol level. Wow, must have been a great party with no electricity, black hats, awesome beards, and girls fully covered, revealing absolutely no skin. <laughs> nice, right? Sounds like my kind of party. Not really. But here's the thing that's weird about this. A buggy with a horse isn't a car. It wasn't going as fast, and people can clearly see that thing coming and have time to react. Hell, most people are like, hey look, it's Amish people. So, do you guys think you should have gotten a DUI? Do, Ian, do they even have licenses? Like, how do you, 
yeah, how do you suspend it? Anyway, leave your comments below, let us know. You know, those Amish, straight up gangsters, living in an Amish paradise, as Weird Al would say. Next up, some slow motion car porn. Up after this, it's nice and slow. Stick around. That's what she said. That is what she said. Yes. Wow, isn't, isn't slow-mo so cool, Ian? It's got that, like, you see the flexing of the tires, and I think everything's better in slow-mo. It just makes it look cooler. Yeah. It does. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You didn't hear that. Well, that about does it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. And hey, if you guys haven't checked out FLD Extra yet, go to fldextra.com. It'll take you right to the YouTube page, and you can see all the behind-the-scenes shenanigans and stuff. All right, so subscribe if you want, or just watch it and enjoy the randomness. All right, everybody, I'm Derek D. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. That'll be Tuesday. And uh, I gotta rest my voice. So, goodbye. For now. Ow, we're living in the fast lane.